I see you're in my gear room again. So that must mean that you want to talk about gear. After coffee. I'm not a veteran, but my grandfathers were. This is one of my favorite cups. I almost forgot. Welcome to Half Pace Outdoors. Well, why the heck am I wearing two different shirts in this video? Well, that's because I shot this video in two different days. Links to everything in the description. Everything. What gear is in store if we're talking about right now? Let's talk about what I call the base camp gear. That's the stuff like my tent, ground tarp, water carrier, tarp, cordage, sleep pad, sleep bag, fleece blanket, cooler, chair, my spotlights, and my med kit. Because that's all the stuff that stays at the base camp. Can you guys dig the Peterbilt blanket? Had that thing forever. I love it. Base camp gear. So the tent that I took along this time is my little Ozark Trail three person dome tent. Toss the bag out of my way. Here's your close up that's prettier than me. It is not backpacking. So when I camp out of my car and I'm by myself, or if we go on the canoe as a family, this is the one we carry for now. Link will be below. And if you hit the little icon, let's see, can I do this? There will be a little icon right here that says HPO with a compass and mountains. If you click that and you're not subscribed, it'll subscribe you to my channel. And then you can go below and hit the little bell icon to get notified of future videos. On to the next one. Is that any better? Oh, that looks so much better. Chill Gorilla Superfly, 10 by 10. Love it. This is my little cordage bag that comes with it. I didn't bushcraft them, I just took steaks. And these are the Coglins. Found them at Walmart. They're like 88 cents a piece, but they're better than the little skinny aluminum things that at the time came with the chill gorilla tarp but uh, since I bought mine they upgraded their stakes. My sleep bag, let me run downstairs and grab it because I slept on the floor last night and not because my wife was mad at me. You guys like my fox hoodie that my mother-in-law made for me? She made me and my son matching ones. I love this thing. It's awesome. My sleeping bag for this trip was a cool weather Ozark Trail mummy bag rated to 30 degrees. It did all right. It did all right. As long as I wore long johns and stuff to bed. Hello, Tunner. What's up? Hi, old man. It's the old dog. The old dog. Yeah. My sleep pad was this gigantic Coleman deal. It's a self inflating. You just open the valve and lay it on the ground and let it do its thing. But it helps if you blow them up. Just a little. Don't overpressure them. This blanket, you guys saw my Peterbilt. I like putting that down on the floor of my tent so that you're not waking up and putting your feet on cold ground. 
I use a heavy duty emergency blanket for a ground harp underneath of that tent because this pretty much covers the whole bottom of it except for like two feet and it does help with again cold ground waking up in the morning or like maybe a little bit of an insulation value from the floor it's awesome I keep bumping the camera I'm sorry if you guys have seen one of these or somebody still has one I want to know in the comments because this is an antique I don't know what year this thing came from oh I think it might be here printed on the on the bottom 79 I think that's what that means made by the Coleman company Wichita Kansas USA my Coleman Oscar cooler I need somebody to make me a like a new sticker because after this thing is what 40 years old older maybe it it'd be a little it, it's about 40 yeah this thing will hold ice for days like four or five days all I didn't even put ice in here I put my frozen meats in here and they were still hard up to day four like frozen in the middle yes they don't make them like this anymore our bladder would have probably been easier to manage or even like one of my square water carriers with the little nifty turn valve but this is what I took that time it's a reliance from one of those Walmart specials 23 liters six gallons I only had to fill it up one time well I filled it up before I left and then filled it up one time down there hold up chair so I'm not gonna flash that in this video and you saw my splot lights, which I will go to a small clip right here. I carry, they're my catfishing lights really, but tonight they're camp lights. So those were pretty cool, right? I made those for catfishing. Uh, we'll maybe do a video on those let me know in the comments if you want to do that and my med kit I have two med kits which I'm not gonna flash you guys in this video but I will explain them a little bit a 10 day med kit I use four catheters a day required me to carry 40 catheters that's 40 catheters, 40 lubricant packs, 80 individual gloves. I take oxybutynin for a bladder pill. It makes my bladder expand. My bladder medication. My multivitamin. And all of those wonderful, nice, clean yourself up wipes that just make everything glorious and feel better. All right, let me move some of this junk out of the way and we will move on to what I consider my camp tools. So what cool gadgets did I take for camp tools this time? well actually the first item on my list is across the room so give me a second the first item on my list was my multi tool my does it even say it on it oh yeah it does but i would have had it upside down gerber suspension what is cooler than a tomahawk? Okay, maybe there's a couple axes, but not very many. Okay, CRKT, Woods Chogan, 
which is a little dull and dirty. We will have to sharpen it up. That will be a video or in a video. My trusty new mower companion. Stainless steel. I couldn't get the carbon version in the high vis green. Oh well. This is still an awesome knife. I will be getting a carbon version more here soon. Where's your focus at? There we go. So yeah, this has been an awesome little knife. I will t I will give this its praise. I mean, I baton this thing through some ash, some oak, some walnut, some cherry, a lot of cherry. Uh, food prep I mean and I only had to I only had to take it to my leather belt maybe okay I, I took my stone across it two or three times and then I finished that off on my leather belt that's why I prefer leather belts because you can sharpen your knife with it and you don't have to carry a strap because you kind of already are my buck saw is downstairs and since I'm a gimp, I don't want to run all the way downstairs and get it. So we'll flash to a little clip of me using it right now. That's pretty cool, right? We'll leave a link in the description. You can go check that out. Because I made my buck saw. I kind of consider my possibles pouch camp tools because in it if you can see my toes it's because I'm home and I'm barefoot sorry that's just how it is get the list out of the way it's ugly you guys don't want to see that can we figure this out yet that'd be real nice huh alright so in here which this has changed. I didn't have these in there for the trip. That's part of my winter kit, which we'll talk about later in another episode. So my possibles pouch has things like my little sharpening stone, my headlamp, my compass, some bear, uh, you know, chapstick, eye drops, First aid stuffs, fire starting stuff. The bug protection can actually come out of here because it's cold and it's winter now. Well, fall. Can we get it back in there? There we go. In the front, For those of you who have seen this before, I'm sorry I might be repeating it, but there's going to be a lot of new people seeing this who haven't seen past videos. So in the front of this, I carry my fire starting supplies. Okay, the lighter is inside of here. I always carry a mini Bic lighter. My fire steel, and I can either strike it with my Mora or, in all honesty, guys, Flint makes an awesome striker. Yeah, I mean, it's just so cool. It's so much better than a knife. I mean, there's not much effort into that. Chubby blocks, some fat wood, some waxed chubby twine. That's my fire starting stuff. It's a little bit of overkill to have my sharpening puck in such a big bag, but I carry a Lansky 
dual sided sharpening puck my leather work gloves want to see what's in the foot locker let's see what's in the foot locker Okay, so let's talk about everything that was in here. I always, always have a dish towel. This is one of those blue enamel metal sets from Walmart. I took a plate, a bowl, and a cup. I had my water kettle. We had a fairly heavy duty stainless steel skillet leave white trash bags in my foot locker some dish soap I like Dawn because it's biodegradable smaller spatula stainless steel I have aluminum foil although again I don't think we used it tub yes a little bamboo cutting board and I will just show you this way that is my Ozark Trail dual burner propane camp stove. Part of my camp kitchen would have been my Ohuhu twig stove, my coffee cup that Deegan stickers up for me, my Stanley Cook cup. All right, if you guys want to know more about the canoe, and my life jacket, my paddle, my fishing equipment. We are going to save all of that for the springtime when it matters the most. Because right now that doesn't matter. I know this video is getting drug out long enough as it is. So, links to everything will be in the description below. There will be a link to the entire going for broke series you can go watch that from beginning to end starting with the trailer and ending with this episode all right and i will see you guys in my next video where i think we are going to probably be discussing my wintertime day pack or my trap line hey, scouting pack as you can see, I got to go. So, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thanks for coming along.